Hi there everybody, welcome to the New York Marathon 2018, November 4th, live from Eurosport. Here's the Dawn Marathon with the crazy little Dawn. We're gonna report you the race live, the men's and the women's race. Yes, in the hope that Dawn won't disturb us too much. Just a few seconds left before the start. Beautiful autumn leaves. Just one or two minutes ahead of the start. First Avenue, Verrazano Narrows Bridge. Is the race director. Here they are, the women, the elite women, Shalane Flanagan, Mary Caetani, Shalane trying to defend her title, they're just ready, the start for the New York Marathon 2018, the women's race has just started, off they go, the Narazano, Verazano Narrows Bridge, the Desiree Linden, who is trying to make another dream come true after her Boston Marathon win in 2018. Here's the lead back, the women approaching the end of the Verrazano Neros bridge. Still all together. It's gonna be very interesting to watch whether Keitani can strike back whether Shalane is once again able to make another miracle come true and last but not least whether Desiree Linden can keep up with the top three and here's the start of the elite man and all the masses all together 9.50 a.m. And here they go, Jeffrey Comoror, trying to defend his title, fighting all the strong Ethiopians, Lelisa de Sisa and Bernard Lagat trying to break the master's record of Map Keflesgi of 2.12.21 if I'm not wrong. So let's do this. Here we go, Bernard Lagat, 43 years old. His debut marathon. Luis Barros, Barrios from Mexico, from Mexico. Also a very strong runner. Now let's get ready for the 2018 edition of the New York City Marathon. Kitata from Ethiopia will also be close to watch with a PR of 204. He's a very strong competitor. He's a strong PR over the half marathon. Sub 59. Here they go! 2018 New York Marathon. All the masses will follow up the elites. Check it out. Crazy madness of all the masses. 50,700 finishers last year. So we're 22 kilometers into the race and there's a slight lead in this pack of Gudetta, Tusa and Mary Caetani followed by Vivian Cheruyot, Desiree Linden is lagging behind and I also don't think Shalane Flanagan is gonna win it once again. The men's race is at 49 minutes and also a small pack containing Camoror, Tola, 
And Kitata. And yet another Kenyan guy. And I think Bernard Lagarde has lost contact to the leading group. Here we see the man's race. Kitata is having a huge lead right ahead of the small pack. And I think he is obviously playing a dangerous game, isn't he? Yes, he is. He is truly doing his thing because he was the only man to follow Kipchoge in London, finishing in 204.49, which was very strong. So it remains to be, yeah, you see whether anybody can kill this man or not. It's gonna be very hard for, for the strong chase group. Mary Katani is all alone in the lead. She's looking for her fourth title this year after her second place last year. Shalane Flanagan, Tusa and Gudetta seem to have no chance by now with 143 into the race. The men's race is also very exciting because Kitata has been caught by the chase group and now they're all back in contention with Camor and that other Kenyan guy whose name I've forgotten because he's new to me. However, Tola and we'll be right back. Here we are with Tony. Tony's still patient. Back into the race. Mary Kaitani still in the lead. And the men's group is still five men strong with Kemberor, Kitata, Tola de Sisa. Wonderful. Two hours, seven minutes into the women's race and one hour, 34 into the men's race. Mary Keitani approaching the finish now 220 into the race she's also really approaching the course record this time which is 222 but I doubt she'll make it we have to be patient she's approaching the Columbus Circle and then she's off to the finish with around 600 meters to go right into the central park whereas Camero is now pushing the speed getting rid of Tamira Tola now they are only left with Kitata and De Sisa I'm very surprised De Sisa is still keeping the pace though you can obviously see that Camero is pushing the pace Pushing it real hard with 149 into the race. And here we go with Mary Kaitani. She's approaching the finish. Let's see, 221.30. But I really am convinced she cannot make the course record. However, she will run a personal course record. And she will win her fourth New York Marathon this year. Let's keep the focus on her. Two twenty two thirty one. Twenty one seconds left. Zwei zweiundzwanzig einunddreißig ist der Rekord. Ja, ich wusste, sie schafft's nicht. She won't make it, I know it, but however, congratulations to a fantastic race, her fourth win so far. And now let's continue with the men's race. Two twenty-two. 40 something, 48, second fastest New York finish ever. And look at what happened right here. Kitata is all the way back. And Cameron just lost a head to head fight versus De Sisa. De Sisa is actually leading the race with just a few meters to go. 
They are just about to approach the Columbus Circle. It's gonna be a good time, faster than last year, faster than the previous years actually, since Geoffrey Mutai. And I don't think, I don't think that the race is already decided. The three men are still quite close to each other. So let's wait until they enter the center park. Ah, look at here. Kitata just overtook Camworth. Coming back. Ready to fight again. Unbelievable. Right when I thought that Kitata is no longer in contention for the win. These three men are fighting very hard. Jeffrey Camaro is out of contention for the win. And Kitata is trying to catch the Sisa, but the Sisa seems to make this victory perfect after his final races, which weren't that successful. Yes, he's actually the winner. And Kitata, who ran a perfect race in London behind Kipchoge will finish in second place. Melissa de Sisa, yeah, the reporter cannot even spell the name. Fantastic. Kitata is second. Geoffrey Cameron, last year's champion, is gonna come in third. There he is. Congratulations to the New York Marathon Champions 2018. Lelisa de Sisa, 205.59, the second fastest New York Marathon ever. Bah.